You may remember Wayne Wilson and Phil Musket from a brutal boot camp workout they did earlier in the series, folks. Wayne Wilson is a personal trainer that spent his lifetime studying all facets of training and has devoted his life to living and helping others be in the best physical shape they can be. Phil Musket is a well-rounded athlete. His no-nonsense philosophy on training has been just as successful for him and his clients. Today the boys have a special workout in store for you, so let's check it out. We're going to be doing a shoulder workout uh, with an emphasis on some speed and power. And, uh, you know, it's going to be good for a lot of different athletes, ball sports and that type of thing. It's got force production, force reduction in it. Still going to be building our shoulders, but we're going to be working on the core as well. You've just got to dial yourself in at the right level or have someone dial you in, but like bat ball sports, baseball, cricket, you know, even golf, believe it or not, anyone that wants some more core strength and shoulder strength and power in their activity. As you can see, the cardio is kicking in already. This exercise, pretty much fingernail to toenail, it's working every muscle in your body. It's getting the shoulders nice and warm, it's getting your whole body nice and warm, it's starting the cardiovascular conditioning component of it. But today I'm picking somewhere around 10 to 12 reps. Depending on, you know, you build muscle with moderate loads for many sets. So a high volume with a moderate load, you could go as high as five sets, just depending on your energy levels and the biofeedback that you're feeling on that day. Today we're gonna to go three sets on it. We're going to do an alternate dumbbell press, a unilateral, just to bring in each shoulder at a time, just for something different. Shoulder press is a shoulder press, it could be dumbbells, barbell. Today we're just going to do one unilaterally, to bring in either side of your body, it creates a lot of strength through the core to stabilise what you're doing. So on this one, you know, you'll need a little bit of a rest, enough for you to do your sets, probably about 30 seconds to a minute, and then I'm straight back into it, but I'm still breathing heavy from the last one, so you're getting that interval effect like you do on a treadmill sometimes. So we'll do the cable chops, power from the ground, driven by the core. This is for power and speed. I'm going to superset it, or biplex it, with a low to high cable pull. So we're going to power through the ground, from the ground, through our core, and out the other side. So again, if you see that movement, you're hitting a baseball, the power doesn't come from your shoulders, it comes out of the ground. That's what we're gonna work on through the transverse abdominis. We're working shoulders relatively traditionally. We're putting some exercises straight after our shoulders that will let the shoulders locally recover and they will actually fatigue other areas of our body, so we're gonna be working on our cardiovascular endurance as well. It's hypertrophy on shoulders, so we're building the shoulder area, but we're keeping the cardiovascular component in there with the rest of our body, which has got some power exercises for our core, so it's both uh, you know, building and conditioning in one workout. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna do a lateral throw, but unlike an isolation exercise for your side deltoid, it's gonna come through the ground again, and it's more about powering from the ground, driving from the core, still working your shoulders. It's got a lot of force production, force reduction, which is good for sports. We're gonna superset it, so we'll do a high to low chop. Keep the abs tight, very high glutes, hamstrings, core focus, but still working the shoulders. Gets the whole heart and lungs going. Um, shoulders have got a nice burn, so so you really feel it rotating through my core. So, like Wayne said, any like bat and ball sports, that exercise would be absolutely brilliant. If you're driving the power right from the ground, you're pushing off your leg, driving it right through your body, up into your shoulder. So, as you can see, it <laughs> that works the cardio. So, really good. I like it. I traditionally train on my own and I would normally do this routine 
possibly once a week would be about max. I swap things in and out as, as I go. This is a blueprint and a, and a bit of a snapshot of that sort of workout, but once a week would be fine. Because when you couple it in with other workouts that goes in this sequence, uh, your shoulders will be getting enough work during that time. We're going to do a javelin press. It's got isolating the shoulder muscles a lot, but you can use a little bit of an oink through the ground again through your core to get that lift up. It's a lot of stabilisation. It's a long weight. It's hard to stabilise front and back. Then we're going to superset it with a or biplex it with a an alternate side crunch like that uh, with the Olympic bar, and that's just really going to finish off our abs and our core. And again, it's doing what your core is supposed to do, and that's stabilise your spine. So as the weight's going down, you're really trying to kick back to keeps your core very strong around your spine. I'm using a free weight which is 20 kilos for the Olympic bar because that's about all I need. I'm going to try and generate some speed and some power and I've got a 20 kilo barbell on the end for the horizontal rotations. You know a bodybuilder might want to finish off with some isolation delt work, a good idea. Uh, this might be a little bit more sport specific, anyone that's trying to generate power in their activity and speed, you know, uh, speed and power, velocity and that type of thing. Power equals force times velocity, so that's what they're looking to create with this type of move. It's explosive. Push short, push short. Good. So with all the emphasis we just had on uh, core, along with our hypertrophy for our shoulders, you keep going, you're going to end up with abs like that. That's the moral of the workout. <laughs> Good workout, mate. Well